Welcome to English Moving Forward. My name is Alan. I am the teacher and you are the student. This is class number one. There are 15 classes in this course. Every class is a new experience in a different place. Behind me is the beautiful Hudson Valley where I live. I hope you enjoy the course and learn a lot. So let's go. Today's key words are city, state, country, thank you, please, you're welcome, behind, across, near, and in front of. Key phrases are, how are you? I am fine, and you? Hi, my name is, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. We also discuss interrogative words, what, where, which, why, who, and how. And finally, we will discuss the verb to be in the present tense. Hi, my name is Alan. I am from the United States. I live in Hudson, New York. What is your name? My name is Alan. Where are you from? I am from the United States. Where do you live? I live in Hudson, New York. What is his name? His name is Alan. Where is he from? He is from the United States. Where does he live? He lives in Hudson, New York. What is your name? Where are you from? Where do you live? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm great, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's discuss grammar. When conjugating a verb in the present tense, the verb remains the same in every person except the third person singular. For example, the verb to live. I live, you live, he, she, it lives with an S, we live, and they live. However, there are many irregular verbs in the present tense in English, including the most common verb to be. For example, I am, you are, he, she, it is, we are, and they are. Let's go over possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives indicate ownership. For example, my, your, his, her, or its, our, and their. For example, my pen, your pen, his, her, its pen, our pen, and their pen. Possessive adjectives come before a noun. What is your name? My name is Pat. Which country are you from? I am from the United States. Where do you live? I live in Hudson too, and I like Hudson. 
Why do you like Hudson? Because the people are very friendly. What is her name? Her name is Pat. Which country is she from? She is from the United States. Where does she live? She lives in Hudson, New York. Why does she like Hudson? She likes Hudson because the people are very friendly. How long have you lived in Hudson? I have lived in Hudson for 56 years. What do you do? I am a healthcare worker. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Laura. When is your birthday? My birthday is May 5th, which is Mexico's Independence Day. This is Pat. Pat is from the United States. She lives in Hudson, New York. Hudson is a city. New York is a state. Pat has lived in Hudson for 56 years. She is a healthcare worker and her birthday is May 5th. This is my friend Slink. Slink is a musician. He plays in a band called Black Lake and also is a soccer player. My name is Slink. I'm from Chicago. I live in Copake, New York. I'm a musician and an artist. I work in real estate. I write songs. I play drums. And I like to play soccer and basketball. Who is this? This is Slink. Where is he from? He is from Chicago. Where does he live? He lives in Copake, New York. What does he do? He is a musician, an artist, and he also works in real estate. What sports does he play? He plays soccer and basketball. He also plays the drums. What is the name of his band? It is called Black Lake. Okay, let's take a quick grammar pause. Let's discuss do and does in forming questions in the present tense. We normally use do and does to form a question in the present tense when the question does not involve the verb to be or question words we learned already. Who, what, where, why, which, when, and how. So we have do I, do you, does, D-O-E-S, he, she, it, do we, and do they. Okay, let's show some examples. Do I live in Hudson? Yes, I do. Do you live in in the United States. No, you don't. Do you speak English? You reply, yes, I do. A little. Do you speak Portuguese? You reply, no, I don't. Or maybe you do. Does Slink write songs? Yes, he does. Does Slink live in Hudson? No, he doesn't. This is the negative. No, he doesn't. Does Pat like Hudson? 
Yes, she does. Does Pat live in Canada? No, she doesn't. The negative also. Do you write songs? Do you play an instrument? Which instrument? Does it snow in Brazil? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's the negative. Does it snow in Switzerland? Yes, it does. Do we live on planet Earth? Yes, we do. Do we live on Mars? No, we don't. Not yet. Someday. Okay, how about some vocabulary? Birthday. is the day you were born. My birthday is April 27th. Pat's birthday is May 5th. When is your birthday? Another word is real estate agent. A real estate agent is someone who sells property and buildings. Do you sell real estate? What do you do? Or what is your job? Best friend. Your best friend is your number one friend. Pat's best friend is Laura. Who is your best friend? Drums and guitar. Slink plays the drums and in the picture he also plays the guitar. Slink play soccer also. The verb to play can be used for instruments or sports. So Slink plays instruments. Slink also plays soccer, which is a sport. Last word is musician. Slink is a musician. A musician is someone who plays an instrument or who sings. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have one brother. Where does he live? He lives in downtown Hudson. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. I have one son. Where does he live? He lives near Albany, the capital of New York. In this next and final section, we discuss and explore my hometown of Hudson, New York. Someone's hometown is the city or town where they were born or raised. So let's go. Hudson is named after the explorer Henry Hudson. It is a historic city located two hours north of New York City by train. It is six hours in the other direction to Montreal, Canada. It is also one hour to Albany, New York by train. Albany is the capital of New York. Behind me is the Hudson train station.
It's now time for a quick quiz. Okay. Who is Hudson named after? It is named after the English explorer, Henry Hudson. Where is Hudson located? It is located two hours north of New York City by train. It is located between Albany and New York City next to the Hudson River. How far is it from Hudson to Montreal by train? It is six hours to Montreal by train. Montreal is a city in Canada. What is Albany? Albany is a city in New York State. It is also the capital of New York State. Finally, does Hudson have a train station? Yes, it does. I am at a park next to the Hudson River. Boats and ships use the river for commerce and pleasure. People also fish in the river. Behind me is the lighthouse. Across the river are the Catskill Mountains. It is springtime in New York and we are at the 7th Street Park in Hudson. The temperature is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the weather is very comfortable. I am in front of Warren Street. Warren Street is the main street in Hudson. I almost forgot a vocabulary word, which is one of the most important words in the English language. P L E A S E. Alan, I need your pen. Pat, please come back. That was not nice. You are being very rude. You could have my pen, but what should you say? I'm sorry. May I please borrow your pen? Yes, you may. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, thank you, and you're welcome are all polite words to use in English, which you should use whenever possible. In this last section, we review what we just saw. Then we discuss the entire class. So, what is the Hudson River used for? It is used for commerce and pleasure, and people also fish on the river. Where is the lighthouse in the video? It is behind me. Where are the Catskill Mountains? They are across the river. How is the weather in Hudson in the springtime? It is very comfortable. Finally, what is Warren Street? It is the main street in Hudson. In this first class, we learned how to conjugate verbs in the present tense, how to ask questions with do and does, how to use interrogative words, and how to greet people. Please click on the link below for additional exercises and fun activities. While I was learning Portuguese in college, the professor introduced us to Brazilian music which helped us to learn the language and also opened us up to popular Brazilian songs and musicians. In every class of English Moving Forward, we will also introduce a popular song to reinforce what we learned. In the next class, we will discuss the past tense. We will also discuss the interesting history of Hudson, which has a peculiar connection to the sea. In addition, you may recognize the story of a woman reported to be frozen to death 
in a car in Hudson. We will talk to the lady who called police. She did not give an interview to the media, so this will be her first interview, which you will see. So, we will see you in the next class. Bye for now.